G'day, I'm Drew from Green Grow Productions. Today we're going to be looking at how to make a stylized black magic pocket 4K look. So you can download this footage from my website and you can follow along if you like or you can make your own grade, completely up to you guys, but just head down to links below. So today we're going to go from here to here. So a completely different look, very stylized, creating a lot of emphasis on the person and I'll show you how to do it. So we have an image here. It's a bit boring at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of style in it. We're going to darken all this area around here, make the focus this man, and just give it all something that looks a bit more interesting. So our first node, all we're going to do is we're going to balance the shot. So what you want to do here is you want to go to your picker, which is down here, and if it's not showing the values, go to qualifier, and then go down to show picker RGB value, and that will show you your values. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to be as close to white as possible. So for this, we want to be uh, the same even number across. So white is 255 and below. So let's just balance it out first. So come across to our gain. So when getting a white value, don't go to a blown out area, because anything over 255, it stopped rendering those colors. So even if you were balanced it, you may not actually be balanced. So let's find a white area with a high number. So around here is a good one. So we're pretty close, but looks like we need a little less green. So we'll come across to our gain. And a little bit more. And maybe a little more red. Like a bit pox. So something about that looks pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I mean, that's pretty much spot on. So now let's do our blacks. My blacks are pretty good at the moment. We'll just leave it as it is. Um, with blacks, it's anything above six. You don't want to go under six because you will start losing detail. Alrighty, so in this node, let's add a little bit of saturation. So let's go down to one and add a little bit of saturation. So now we're going to add contrast, and we're not going to do it using this area. We're actually going to do it using the curve. So make sure your selection is all gained. If it's looking like this, simply click here, and that will gain your colors. So we'll just add a little bit of contrast using the white value. And we're only going to do a tiny little bit because we'll be doing a lot more later on. But that's just adding a little bit of contrast. Let's have a look at it. So we've gone from here to here. And as you can see, we've got rid of that greenish look. And we just brought a little bit of saturation in and a little bit of contrast. Great, so let's move on. So Alt S on the windows for a new node. So now we're going to create four more nodes using the parallel node. So Alt F four times. And bring this out a little bit. So that gives us a total of five nodes. Clean up nodes. Okay, so in this first node, we're going to select the skin. So using our qualifier down here, find a patch of skin, click, and shift H to bring up your selection, or you can bring it up with the highlights up here. Okay, I'm going to make this a bit bigger, so zoom in a little bit. And we're getting a lot of the shirt and a lot of this area, so let's refine our selection. So let's bring up the lows a little bit and the luminance and let's just bring it down and across so we're hitting this kind of color which is around the skin tones and clean it up a little bit clean up the blacks to make it even easier we are going to create a window around us so a squiggly line which is obviously the technical term for it squiggle 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 Let's soften it right up. So we're going to go in and a little bit out. And we'll come back to our color fire. So what we want to do here, let's look at the areas that aren't selected. So Shift H. And if we go right in, we can see that it looks like it's the bright areas. So we come back here, our luminance, Shift H again. And let's increase those highs. Still not quite there, so... Let's move this across a little bit and bring it out a little bit and 
try to get some of those lows away. Looking pretty good. And let's blur it right out. And just clean it up as best you can. So that looks pretty good. Don't worry too much about the neck. It's not a big deal. It's in the shade anyway. We're not going to be making a huge change to the skin anyway, so that's fine. So we're going to leave the skin as is for the moment, but we're going to come back to it later. So the reason why we do this, it's important to do the skin earlier on because we're going to make some drastic changes and otherwise it's going to be hard to select the skin. So in this node, we're going to draw the attention more to him. So what we're going to do is squiggly line again and we're going to build a power window around him like so and we're going to soften it right up let's go down to here and invert our selection which means we'll be using everything that isn't inside the circle and then come across our curves and let's start making some changes and let's bring it right down so it looks a bit funky at the moment but once we start changing him, it will suit a lot better. We're going to soften it out a little bit more. Just to get away from those harsh edges. Now what we want to do in the next one is we want to concentrate on him. What you can do here, instead of doing another power window, we'll come across here and put it into this little arrow. And then that will... Take the selection from here and put it into here. And then we'll come across here and we'll invert that selection. So now we're concentrating on him. So let's just sort of blend it in a little bit. It's more about getting a starting point and then coming back and refining it. So in this node, what we're going to do is we're going to create a light coming from this window. So back to squiggly line and something along the lines of this and let's soften it right out, soften it right in, come back to our curves and just play around with this. I'm going to try to get these little hot spots in the hand. So this is before and this is after. So we're getting a little bit of style here now. So now that what we're going to do here is we're going to go back to our previous nodes and start working from there. So we're going to go back to this top one. We're going to bring it down a fair bit. So something like that and then let's go to our skin tones and let's just bring up some of the brightness on the space. It's getting a little bit lost. So something like that looks pretty good. So if you have a point that you want to select, you simply just click the area. So let's say I want to select here, and then it'll make a point on your curve so that area can be adjusted. If you have a lot of dots, you will start getting funky. So I suggest a more smoother transition than, say, something like this. Because you will tend to break your image very quickly. So with our skin, we've made some brightness adjustments. So let's just add a little bit more saturation in and maybe bring the face down a little bit. It looks a bit uneven. So let's sharpen him up. So let's go to our third node where he's selected and we'll go across to sharpen and we'll bring it down a fair bit. I'll do it more than I would because YouTube tends to compress things. Okay, so now we have a very sharp looking man. Okay, so in our final node, let's start building that look. Let's add a little bit of warmth to their image. 
So let's go back to our log and we'll add some blue into the shadows. Just to separate a little bit. And maybe a little bit more warmth. Yes, I think we need to bring this window down a little bit. So let's make a new node, Alt-P. And let's soften it right up. So come across to our curves once more. We'll bring it down. So that looks pretty good. And maybe let's add a little bit of color to it. So in the gain and the highlights. So let's go back to our fourth node and let's blur the image just a little bit. So I think he's a little bit sharp, so let's go back and change that to so number 5. And let's bring it out a little bit, because since we've blurred the image, he does stand out more anyway. And then let's darken the entire image. So let's make a new node, Alt-S, and go back to our curves. Let's bring it down just a little bit. Somewhere about there looks pretty good. We don't want to go too black because we don't want to start losing the top of his back here, all this kind of area. And another thing we can do is we can desaturate some of these shadows. So you go to the fourth one and bring it down a little bit. It might have gone a little bit too dark, so let's go back to our curves. That looks pretty good, but I think we can make him just a little bit brighter. So maybe in the skin. And let's add a little bit of pink to those skin tones. And he's a little bit orange in the face. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make another node, Alt-S. And let's just see if we can fix it up a little bit. So let's go to Hue versus Saturation. And just take it out a little bit. And maybe make it a tiny little bit brighter. Let's just make a quick selection on it. That was before our little change, and then that's after. It's not a huge change, and it may not be picking it up on YouTube, but it is helping to bring this face out just a little bit. So I think another thing we can do is just to add a little bit more color to these shadows. So let's go back to node four. And let's really go a bit crazy with it. Something like that. So he's really popping out of the scene. So we might need to fix his skin up again. Um, it's a little orange, so let's just add a little bit of blue. And maybe you just darken him down just a tad. So let's soften this one up, let's bring it right out. And bring it right in. So that's looking pretty good. One more thing I would say we can do is just add a little bit of color back here, just to break the scene up even more. So let's put a little bit of color back here. So we'll just check a power window. And we'll go to our shadows. A little bit of color here. 
and we'll just bring it down just a little bit. So let's desaturate it just a little bit. So we have this really stylized look. Man looking at a window, contemplating his life, I guess. Who knows? Yeah, so again, you can download this footage from my website. Uh, it's completely free. Use it any way you want. If you have any results you would like to share me, send them to my Instagram, link below. The only thing I would say is you can't claim that you shot the footage, but any grade you do is completely yours. So that's it for the grade. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any suggestions or things you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. So if you'd like a more basic clean look, I think maybe next time I'll do one of them. So thanks very much for watching. I've been Drew from Gingo Productions and have a great day.